Hello you two, I hope you're all well. We're going to do some more maths today, but first I've come outside in my garden for a quick challenge, because thanks to all of you, I feel a lot more clued up on birds. You've all been sending lots of wonderful work to our year two email address, and because of that, I've found out which birds are likely to come visit my garden, what they look like, what they like to eat. I found out that trying to give them strawberry milkshake was not my smartest move. Um, and in general, I feel a lot more confident about bird spotting. So I've decided to try and find at least two of all the most common species of birds in my garden this morning. Let's see how we get on. You know, that actually went quite well. I managed to see two robins, two goldfinches, two chaffinches, two starlings, two wood pigeons, two sparrows, uh, two blackbirds you know I even thought I saw two parrots but then I remembered that they're probably not likely to come to my garden they had a yellow breast and a blue head so I'm not sure what they were maybe you can help me out there so all in all I'm very happy with that I mean I've seen how many in total have my robins that's two and my chaffinches and then I had my goldfinches oh I'm running out of fingers here so that's five or is it six? Five or six? And then my my pigeons. Is that set? Oh, I'm losing count here. Surely there's got to be a better way of counting up all these pairs of birds. What do you think, year two? You've done brilliantly at addition and subtraction in the past few weeks, and now we're going to move on to multiplication. So this lesson can be split into two parts really, which means that we have two learning objectives. For the first part, we need to recognize and make equal groups because when we're multiplying, we're always looking at equal groups. Once we're happy with that and we feel confident, we're going to move on to our second part, our second learning objective, which is to write number sentences using the multiplication sign, which looks like an X and equals. Now, before we get started, in today's lesson, we are going to need to count in our twos, fives and tens. So you might like to pause the video now and have a quick practice of those. Remember, you can type in scratch garden counting in twos, fives or tens onto YouTube to find some really cool songs to help you with that. Okay, so for recognising equal groups, I'm going to need to use some bits and bobs that I've got around the house. So I'm going to go and have a little look at what I can find. So I've decided to use some pebbles that I found lying around the house. Now the first thing I need to do is count the number of equal groups. So let's go. One, two, three, four. So here, where it says there are mm, equal groups, I'm going to write the number four. Now I need to count how many there are in each group. One, two, let's just check the others. One, two, one, two, one, two. So there's two in each group. Now I need to count how many I have all together. Now I could count them one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight but that will take a lot longer than if I count them in my twos. Two, four, six, eight. So there are eight all together. And I can also do an addition sum here to show this. So I've got two, add, two, add, two, Add two equals, we've already counted them up, eight. So four lots of two equals eight. Let's have a go at this one now. Again, we need to work out how many equal groups we have, how many are in each group, and how many there are all together. So pause the video now and have a think what numbers are going to go in these gaps. How did you get on? Good? Okay, let's check together. So first, let's count the number of equal groups. One, two, three. 
And now let's count how many are in each group. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just check that the others are the same. One, two, three, four, five. And the last one, one, two, three, four, five. So there are five in each group. Again, now we need to work out how many we have all together. Now I know that we are really good in year two at counting in our fives. So we're going to try that now. Five, 10, 15. So there are 15 all together. Again, we can write an addition sum here. So I have five, add five, add five. Remember, we already worked out how many we had equals 15. So three lots of five is 15. So now it's your turn at home. I'd like you to go find something around your house. It could be toys or pens or rolled up socks, absolutely anything, as long as you ask your grown up first, of course. And you're going to make equal groups. And in each group, I'd like either two, five, or 10 items. You can choose how many groups you want to make, that's completely up to you. And then I'd like you to try writing down this information. So you need to say how many equal groups there are, how many items are in each group, and then you need to count in your twos, fives, or tens, how many you have all together. You can also try writing the addition sum below as well. So pause the video now and have a go at that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five groups, but they don't look equal to me because only two of them have anything in them. Three of them are blank. So I'd like you to pause the video now and try and make the groups equal. So what are you going to have to put in those groups to make sure they're equal to those? After that, write down how many groups you have, how many are in each group, and work out how many you have all together. Excellent work, you're quite right. All we needed to do was to put five dots in each of the blank groups, which means we now have five equal groups with five in each group, and then all together we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So five, add five, add five, add five, add five equals 25. Five lots of five is 25. Now we're going to move on to the second part of our lesson where we're going to need to use our multiplication sign, which remember looks like an X, and our equal sign to write number sentences. So let's have a look at this one. As always, the first thing we need to do is work out the number of equal groups we have, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then how many we have in each group, which is two. So we are looking at seven lots of two. Now, again, I can write my addition number sentence. Two, add two, add two, add two, add two, add two, add two. So I need to count in my twos to see how many I have. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now, this is okay, it tells me the information I need to know, but there is a much quicker way of writing it down than writing out this really long number sentence. And that is to take the number of groups I have, which remember we counted as seven. Then we need our multiplication sign, so multiplied by, and then the number that you have in each group, which is two. So it's just saying seven lots of two equals, and it's the same answer again, 14. So it's telling us the same information, but just in a much simpler and clearer way. Now remember, if you've practiced your doubles at home, you should find the two times table quite easy because doubling is the same as multiplying by two. Now pause the video and have a go at writing down four lots of 10 yourself. So I'd like you to draw the groups 
write the addition number sentence and then write the multiplication number sentence. And we'll check together in just a moment. Brilliant work there, year two. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. I have four equal groups with 10 in each group. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40 altogether, which I can write out as my addition number sentence like this. 10 add 10 add 10 add 10 equals 40. Or I can write it out in a much more simple way as 4 times 10 or 4 multiplied by 10 equals 40. Excellent. The last one we're going to practice together now before you try some at home is when we're given a different piece of information to start with. So I can see here that 4 times 5 equals 20. I can use this information to work backwards to draw my equal groups. So I have four groups. Three, four, and I have five in each group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So I have four equal groups with five in each group and my addition number sentence would therefore be five add five add five add five equals 20 or much more simply as we already got told at the start four times five equals 20. Now I would like you to pause the video and try filling in this information at home. And now your extra spicy challenge. The total is 12. What could the addition and multiplication number sentences be? So you need to experiment with different amounts of groups and different amounts in each group and you don't need to stick to your twos, fives and tens for this one. Now, just before we go, remember that once you're really confident with this, you won't need to draw out your equal groups anymore because you'll just be able to use your knowledge of counting in twos, fives, tens or other groups of numbers and your fingers to work out the answers. So, for example, here I have seven times five. I'm going to count in fives on my fingers. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I've used seven fingers, I've counted seven fives, and I know that the answer is 35. For the second one, I have three times 10. So I need to count in my tens three times. 10, 20, 30. So remember, you can use hit the button and TT Rockstars to help you practice those. Well done for all your hard work today on multiplication. You did an amazing job and stay safe and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.